Islam's growing really fast in Australia. I think you know it's up to three point two percent of the population mm. now. But if you went back ten or fifteen years, it wasn't anything mm. like that. It was you know half the size. So, so I think there's scale there. Um, but I also think if you if you think like a big bank, their, their propositions are very much targeted around being good to the whole Australian market. Mm. We've heard rumours that a couple of them considered it, but it's almost been considered a bit niche. Right. Just a, a horrific word for this, but you know I think a few of them have got the impression that it's like look, our proposition is really just to run conventional banking product. We're not expert at doing Islamic banking product. You know, we don't necessarily have the distribution network to do it. The other thing you've got to think about when you're running a big business is kind of your marketing spend. And, you know, if you run advertising above the line, which we mean sort of through television and radio and that sort of thing, you hit the whole community. You don't just hit people of the Islamic mm. faith. And so this is why, you know, Hijaz, obviously you're experts at doing, you know, marketing out there. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Here I've seen this man. He's a banker. He talked about how Muslim population is growing in Australia. And he's saying that 3.2% of the total population of Australia are now Muslims and it's growing in fast pace and Alhamdulillah we are seeing all over the world Muslims are increasing and Islam has become one of the fastest growing religion from ordinary people to at least to celebrities everyone is coming to the force of Islam in Europe in USA in Asia in Africa you name it everywhere Islam is becoming the fastest growing religion Alhamdulillah and then these people they want now to market islamic products they are jumping into islamic banking because they want to target the muslims they want to get the money of the muslims and as everywhere islam is flourishing and more and more people are coming to the force of islam they are trying to bring people in a lucrative way to their products so that they buy it and they are trying to halalifying it they are trying to make it according to islamic way because they don't want to lose the money whatever happens they just want to earn the money and now you can see even the non-muslims they are going for islamic banking they are going for halal options they are targeting the muslim people and you'll see inshallah islam will continue to flourish but as muslims we have a lot of responsibilities to do and rather than they doing it all these things they targeting the Muslims for Islamic banking and halal products we have to become entrepreneurs we have to do something great we have to build those amazing products so that we can serve both the Muslims and non-Muslims the Islamic products Islamic banking system Islamic halal system is so amazing that even the non-Muslims will love it and now in many countries non-Muslim countries they are introducing halal system of slaughtering and they're introducing Islamic banking and even the non-Muslims are loving it because Islam tells you usuri, riba, interest is haram but business is halal and there is amazing Islamic finance to govern the banking system, the economy and the whole country and inshallah slowly but surely the muslims will wake up the muslims will become entrepreneurial the muslims will do something amazing and they will serve the world may allah give the muslims the capability to build and innovate and become entrepreneurial help us build an islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description